my name is Hapte Jebe Sadabala. Uh, I have been teaching at Addis Ababa University uh, for the last uh, 19 years or so. And uh, my field is pretty much linked to limnology, which is microalgae. Ethiopians are so much, pretty much deficient in protein, pretty much defi deficient. And uh, there should be, you know, th this has been considered by government as the Sokota Declaration, for example. A declaration that uh, that uh, states that by 2030, uh, the Ethiopia should uh, uh, bring at least the the, the highest stunting rate to the uh, global average of 26 percent. Now it is about 40 percent. 40 percent is stunting. Stunting is in fact um, low uh, uh, low average height for for age. Low average height for age. And uh, the stunting uh, rate in, in the adult population now, the current population is about 67%. Uh, and the current uh, newborn is at the rate of uh, about 38%. This is very high. And, uh, uh, you know, if we consider what stunting can cause, uh, it has a devastating effect. Uh, so stunting is uh, a result of protein deficiency uh, and uh, lack of uh, uh, enough protein consumption, which now is most African and particularly Ethiopia is in. The objective of this project is to intervene, to intervene swiftly in the reduction of stunting and malnutrition in Ethiopia and elsewhere in Africa by increasing spirulina farm. Spirulina is uh, uh, can be considered as a complete food. It has all the uh, micronutrients, uh, vitamins, most of the vitamins, uh, uh, macronutrients also, and, um, uh, and, and, and all the essential and non-essential amino acids. If a child is malnutrition or uh, does not take sufficient diet during the first 1,000 days, then stunting will occur and this stunting has got uh, imp effect on later age. Uh, for example, in later age, uh, um, uh, for example, a, a, a mother, a mother, a stunted mother is likely to give birth to a stunted child. Let alone the mother but the grandfather, the grandmother. Due to stunted grandmother, the daughter can give birth to a grand child of stunted, stunted, uh, stunted newborn. So it, 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 it has an effect, it has an effect. And also it has a kind of epigenetic impact. What we say that effect of on the cell function without affecting the DNA. And this causes uh, later on a non-transmittable disease such as type two diabetes, gastro, uh, gastro cardiovascular, uh, problems, diseases, hypertension, and uh, low cognitive achievement in, in school. Students who are uh, children who are stunted achieve 1.1 years less than those who are not stunted. And uh, the achievement is we have established the lab, we have established uh, awareness uh, to the ministerial level, to the government level. So this is a great achievement. The, the problem uh, previous was even not to accept this project as viable or as sustainable. Mm -hmm. Now the government has accepted as sustainable and uh, also as one of the intervention uh, routes uh, to reduce stunting and malnutrition in Ethiopia. Not only in Ethiopia, our objective is to the whole uh, Eastern Africa region, Sub-Saharan Africa, and finally probably to Africa. Our um, short-term objective is uh, to bring a few kilograms, to bring some kilograms, and uh, to let people know what it is, and making pilot studies on, on, on school children, on stunted children, and uh, to provide, you know, with, uh, with uh, some solid results. Uh, in, uh, I hope this will be, you know, when we produce one hectare. One hectare is supposed to produce 100 kilogram per day in, in the Rift Valley area. 100 kilogram dry spirulina per day. 
and uh, uh, this is you know uh, a lot if you uh, multiply it even at least with 300 days uh, that's a, a lot of kilograms and that will feed uh, probably uh, each year about 3,000 uh, uh, malnutrition students or children and uh, you know stop uh, stunting in 3,000 uh, children. Mm -hmm.